Hi everybody, Diamonds by Tita. And I just want to give you a little bit of an update on my beautiful, beautiful Gypsy Violet by Diamond Art Club. Um, as you can see, I've made quite a bit of headway on it. Not as much as what I would like, um, but it's okay. It's turning out beautiful. Look at the sparkle. Can you see all that sparkle in it? It's just gorgeous, and this is a round. Um, so it is, it's very, very sparkly, but I love the purple and the blues and the greens. Um, it is just, it's probably the funnest painting that um, I've ever done. I absolutely, absolutely am in love with this one. I am so happy that I got it. Um, and unfortunately, you know, it is discontinued. So if you guys did want to get it, you'd probably have to go on like a Facebook uh, D-Stash group because uh, it is one of their older kits. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and start a whipping chat, and we'll just, um, I don't know, talk about stuff. I'll figure out what we'll talk about. Anyway, this is my beautiful Gypsy Violet, um, and I'll be back in just a minute with the whipping chat. Hi, everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. I'm so glad that you stopped by and to hang out with me and visit with me. Uh, today we are going to do a whip and chat together. Um, I'm going to be working on my Gypsy Violet. Um, so grab a cup of coffee or tea or um, whatever your beverage of choice is. Um, grab your, whatever project you're doing. That could be diamond painting. It could be cross stitch, paint by numbers, um, coloring. Um, just grab your crafts. Um, crafting is so much fun. I love it. I love every minute of this. I love hanging out with you guys. Um, you guys make me happy. Um, so uh, I am going to also show at the end, I'll show um, the progress of my uh, Gypsy Violet. Uh, she is absolutely stunning and beautiful. I'm so happy with her. She's probably one of the funnest paintings that I've ever done. Probably because the colors, these are my colors. I love the colors. Love the greens and purples. So happy with it. So welcome. Thank you all for coming. And so let's get started, okay? Okay. I have got, am I in here? See? Got my cup of coffee. I don't know if you can see this very well, but it has a little bit of a, a bird on the side. This is actually um, hand, a handmade um, coffee cup, ceramic. Um, that my son got me for Christmas one year, and I love it. It holds a lot of coffee um, because it doesn't have. It has a, a narrower top. I mean, I know you guys can't see it very well, but the opening is narrower than the bottom, so it stays a little warmer. Love my coffee. It is very, very early here. Um, it is still dark out. Um, I am just using, I'm using a different pen today. Isn't that one pretty with the kind of peachy swirl? I really love that one. Single placer and a four placer. And the, and the I gotta check this out. It is kind of wearing out. I've kind of, I've kind of like, it's got kind of, I don't know, dinged up a little bit on it. But I'm still using it because it's my, it's my favorite placer. Um, so I'm going to be using it, although, you know, with me in the whipping chats, I tend to primarily single place uh, because I can't walk and chew bubble gum at the same time. We are using, our, uh, we are doing this beautiful purple. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'll tell you something. I love these Elizabeth Ward containers. Um, well, this is, this is a knockoff. It's not a real Elizabeth Ward. Um, it was a knockoff from, I think, Timu. But anyway, um, it's fast becoming my favorite uh, kitting up containers because I can see the colors in it. I don't have to necessarily look around. And I found that, and this is kind of strange, or maybe not strange. I don't know. Maybe you guys do it. I just discovered it. Um, I am kitting up. I used to go in numerical order because if you have 35 colors they go 1 to 35 and I put them all in order um, and I and I um, diamond paint by symbol not by the number um, 
on the canvas, right? I paint my symbol. Anyway, I've got these. They're sorted because this has got numbers, letters, and symbols. So I put all the numbers together and I put all the letters together and then the symbols I sort sorted by color. And it was kind of weird at first to do it that way, but I can find the colors so much faster, or, you know, the color I need so much faster. And um, I really like doing it that way. It's a little bit different. And, but usually I'm so methodical in the stuff that I do that I thought, oh, I'm never going to be able to get away with putting everything in numerical order. It has to be in numerical order. Well, why does it have to be in numerical order? I can put it any way that I want to put it that makes it easier for me, right? So remember that you can kit up any way that you want to kit up. Oh, so that's my kitting up stuff. Um, I want to share um, a little bit my beautiful niece. She is the sweetest thing ever. I love my niece to pieces. And um, she recently um, got married. She got married last June. Beautiful ceremony. She's got a wonderful husband. Um, and uh, she discovered diamond painting um, through my channel. And, um, I mean, for a long time, I'm backing up just a little bit. Um, for a long time, I didn't tell anybody about my channel because I didn't know what my family or friends would think about it. Um, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't say anything until I started getting a few more followers and maybe that was stupid to do. I don't know. Um, I just wanted it to be successful, I guess. I don't know. I was being weird. Anyway, make a long story short, I told her and my brother about it. She started watching, discovered diamond painting, and loves it. And I wanted to share her completion. Um, and I'll put it up here somewhere on the screen um, so that you can see it. It turned out absolutely stunning. I love it. Um, you know, the pumpkin spice with, with the little... Um, uh, the little ghost in it. I just thought it was so cute. She did a beautiful job. She's done several paintings actually and coaster. She's doing, um, she's doing all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, she told me that she's found her craft finally, which is wonderful. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you because she does not have a channel and I'm so proud of her. And so there's her painting and, and, you know, it's kind of funny. Um, uh, not funny haha -ha, or anything, but uh, like a quinky dink. One of my real good friends, uh, she started diamond painting too. Uh, I think she just started it, um, was it yesterday or maybe the day before? She just started and she's, you know, getting it figured out as far as, you know, uh, needing a, you know, a tabletop easel or do I diamond paint flat? Um, you know, you're trying to kind of getting in, in your, in your groove, you know, it takes a while to kind of figure out, um, your style, how you like, how you like to diamond paint. Um, so, uh, so that was pretty awesome. And, uh, let's see, that's kind of the updates I have on the diamond painting. Um, I am about halfway done on my cross stitch. Let me go grab it because it's small and you'll be able to see it. Because if I'm going to give updates, I might as well give give all the updates. Hang on just a second. Let me just walk over to the other table. One second here. Well, I am learning, learning, learning. That is for certain about cross stitch. All right, so, oops. So here is my cross stitch that's coming along. You know, you can see I've got all the green through here done, working my way up, starting the flowers. Don't mind this little stringy thingy, the floss that's hanging up. Um, I will cut that off 
uh, shortly. Um, I have it, I'll show you. My back's not pretty, so don't look at this. But I will catch it um, all back through here when I cross stitch. And then I will cut that off, that tail off. So I have a couple tails and those will be cut off um, as I continue to cross stitch. Um, but this flower is coming along. Um, it's slowly, slowly but surely coming along. I know it's little, um, but I'm proud of it. Um, I got part of the edge done, the border. I'm, I'm, I'm doing good with it. I'm happy. So that's, that's my little cross stitch. Um, and I um, am really, really pleasantly surprised with the support that I have on my channel with cross stitch. I wasn't certain how many people were going to like it or should I do it or should I do another channel or do I just turn this more into a crafting channel? I mean, I don't know. I've got so many questions. I love how my squirrel brain is just going a, you know, a mile a minute. I think my squirrel needs to be friends with uh, Crafty Chef Diamond's um, hammy, her hamster on a wheel. I think they must be friends. Um, so anyway, um, I've gotten a lot of really positive response on the cross stitch. A lot of people want to try it. Um, you know, they've kind of asked me some advice on what they should start with. Um, and again, I by no means am any expert yet. I am still watching tons of tutorials and learning about it. But uh, for me, you want to probably start small, not a big one, not with a lot of back stitching, maybe something with a lot of color blocking. Um, and um, like I've been telling, you know, my, my friends, my viewers, um, that we will learn this together. I don't think I am ready to stitch on camera yet or anything like that. I'm, I'm still trying to get comfortable with it um, and try, just trying to figure it all out, right? So that is that kind of update. Oops, I missed a couple over here. Hang on. Let me get this up here. Got a couple more. Um went up and visited my sister and her husband. We had dinner last night and I checked up on her kitty because as you know, her kitty is going through some cancer treatment because she has lymphoma and she started her chemo. Um, and she also takes a steroid. Doesn't like to take the pill because I don't know if you've ever taken a steroid, they taste pretty pretty icky, and she just doesn't like to pill, but what they have now, and I did this when I had a cat that had to take medication daily, um, they can compound the medication um, into like a cream, and you put the, the medicine on the inside of their ear, and it... Um, goes into their system that way through the skin, which I thought was was really cool. It worked for my cat, and so my sister's going to get that for her cat uh, to get that working. But she's doing good. She came out and saw me and visited with me and got to pet her and see her. And then the sweetest thing ever, and I need to find a picture of it, um, her other cat, he kind of looks like a Russian blue um, I will find a picture and, and put it up on the screen too for you guys because I know everybody likes the pictures. Um, but he likes to lay with her now and they never laid together before, you know, or cuddled or anything. So I think he must know that she's sick and doesn't feel good. So he takes care of her, which I thought that was the sweetest thing ever. I love animals. They are, they are good. They're sweet and kind. Um, so that's the update on, on the cat and my dog's doing okay. She doesn't like the cold weather, although today is getting, um, I think it's going to be maybe 50, so it's going to be warmer, 
Um, the last couple nights it was kind of cold. It got down into freezing. Um, but we never know what kind of weather we're going to get. The weather sure is weird, isn't it? It is just really, really weird. I never know if it's going to be cold or hot. I just start to dress in layers. Okay, so that is that. I've got to go and uh, pick out some eyeglass frames because I told you I went to the doctor, eye doctor, and I got my prescriptions. But I have to get three pairs. My distance, my computer glasses, and now my crafting glasses. I feel so fancy. I'm going to have crafting glasses. So I'm going to get that. And let's see. Sorry for my polka dotty hands again if you're seeing them. They're still healing. I'm trying not to get too much of it in camera. So I think I can do a whip and chat without showing you all my owies. And uh, still got a couple more doctor appointments for my checkups. That I have to do. But that's really all that's kind of going on. I don't have, I don't have very much. I, um... I've been, you know, again, keeping really busy. I've been trying, like I said, trying to get this um, diamond painting done. But at the same time, I don't want to get it done because I'm enjoying it so much. Have you had a painting that way that it's been so much fun that you don't want it to end? Um, and I don't want this one to end. I, I just am so, so enjoying it. I think I'm going to switch colors. I'm going to try to get some of these up through here instead of moving up there so far. Um, let me try working on the upside down tees. Okay, where is my little upside down tee? Oh, here it is. I'll show you the color. Isn't that pretty? I love this, this darker purple. There's so many color purples. It is very, very pretty. Yeah, this one I've just enjoyed so much. And today, um, I am off work and we're gonna have a, a ladies luncheon at church. We're all gonna go to the Olive Garden, which I thought well, I love Olive Garden anyway. And um, and then from there, after lunch, uh, we're going to go uh, to the Craft Expo. Uh, the Holiday Craft Expo. So I'll see what kind of crafting stuff I might want to buy. Maybe I'll find some Christmas gifts. I don't know. It's nice now, I mean, that, you know, the pandemic, you know, is, is over and things are opening up because we haven't had a craft fair, I think since, since COVID. So all the big events, you know, we haven't had. So it's nice getting back to kind of normal and being able to get out and about now, which is wonderful. So that's my plans for today. And I'm going to try to film a few more videos this morning. I'm going to get this whip and chat done. I have a, another PR package that I need to get done. And um, I've got some premium kits that I want to show you. Got some of that. And um, I think that's all. Um, I just want to be able to enjoy today and, you know, have a nice lunch with all my friends. My sister's going to come with me too, so that's going to be nice. 
So we'll all get to hang out together. I love Italian food anyway. And I love Mexican food. That's probably my favorite. We've got some pretty good restaurants around here. And um, let's see. I think I say um too much, don't I? I hope you don't mind that. I should probably work on my speech better. But I don't script any of this. Um, I don't script any of my videos. It just, whatever pops in my head is what we're going to talk about. I am still behind watching everybody's videos. So if you have a channel and I have not commented, my apologies. I, I, just, I just haven't been... Um, watching as much and uh, I need to I need to do that for you guys I need to support everybody's channel so um, I will be working on that because we've got some pretty awesome creators in this um, diamond painting community and I probably should say in cross stitch community I have met such lovely people. I'm so happy with all the friends that I've met. And I think, uh, you know, I you guys all keep me company. You know, when I'm watching videos or I'm watching whipping chats or, or whatever. Um, I mean, I hardly ever watch regular TV. Um, there's a few shows that, you know, I have to watch you know, because I love them. Um, but I don't watch nearly as much TV as I used to. I really watch um, more YouTube. Um, but, and there's a lot of other YouTube content that I like to watch. Um, I really watch a little bit of everything, too. And I think I feel... You know, I don't watch as much news. Maybe that's a little controversial. I don't know, but I don't, I don't, I don't watch as much news. I think it just depresses me. I mean, I watch the highlights because I want to like keep up with current events and you know what's happening in the world. But I remember my dad. I mean, he had the news on. I tell you, twenty four seven. It's all that he did was listen to the news. My my poor mom. I don't know how she ever. Uh, ever could handle that. So, um, yeah, so I just don't, I don't watch the news as much. If you guys have any favorite YouTube channels, let me know, um, whether it's crafting or if it's anything else. Um, I like to find new channels to watch too, so let me know. And let me know what you're working on. Do you, uh, are you working on a project with me now? Or do you just listen like me as a podcast? Or, um, I mean, how do you guys do that? I mean, sometimes I, with the whipping chats, I diamond paint with the whipping chats. Sometimes I, um, am cleaning. Like, I'll, I'll put YouTube on, uh, either like on my phone. Oh, I don't even have you in the screen. I'm so sorry. How long were you like watching without really being able to see? Sorry about that. Let me just move this up a little bit. Um, but sometimes, you know, I'll be doing dishes and or, you know, cleaning. And I will will be listening. And some people have, um, they listen uh, to books while they're doing this. I haven't, I haven't really listened to an audio book. I probably should read a little bit more, but there's so much that I want to do and not enough time. I keep telling my sister I want to retire, but... I've got several more years left. Well, 
know. I know it's only like 23 minutes. Let's see if I can find a couple more things to talk about. And then I will let you guys go. But my main purpose really was I wanted to give you um, an update on Gypsy Violet so you can see how, you know, see my progress on her um, really from last week and uh, show you my beautiful niece's painting. I'm so proud of her. And uh, give you an update on the animals. And uh, just going to tell you a little bit about my day. Like I said, I lead kind of a pretty, pretty dull and boring life, really. I think I think my subscribers really brighten up my day. You all really, really brighten up my day a lot, especially reading your comments and reading your emails. Um, I I I just can't tell you how much I enjoy you guys. Yeah, thank you for that. Yep, yeah, thanks for tuning into my channel and subscribing and sharing and all that kind of stuff. Well, I think I'm going to finish up this little section here and I think we're just going to call it a day. It's not a super long whip and chat, but I don't have a don't have a ton to talk about really and you know I am I probably am a true introvert you know I really recharge my batteries by myself not with a group of, of people but over the course of my life I've had to learn to kind of be more um, extroverted uh, so sometimes it's a little hard for me to think of different things now my sister on the other hand, oh my gosh, she is such a talker. She hasn't met somebody that isn't a friend. She just talks to everybody, anywhere, anytime, can talk about any subject. Um, and I wish I could be a little bit more like her, but I'm more of the quiet one. So, so that's really kind of all that I have. Let me get all these drills in here. There's that one. And I think what I'm going to be working on next, because I'm doing all these purples. Let me show you the next color. This one's really pretty too. It's a little bit different. Oops. Look at that one. Isn't that one pretty? Oops, I'm going the wrong way. I've got the camera in front of me, so I have to, my angle's a little bit different. But I think that one's pretty too. I just love the colors of this painting. I'm so happy with it. And I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna be doing next after this one, because I wanna to try to um, uh, do a premium one in addition to a budget-friendly. And then I also have to keep up with my, um, my PR packages because I need to do finishes for them too. Oh, I gotta tell you something funny. So I was working on one of my painting, or working on this painting, and you know, my pen just wasn't picking up the drills very well, and I couldn't figure out if it was like, is it the wax, what am I what am I doing wrong? Well, I looked at the tip. I don't know how long I've been using this tip, and let me see if I can show it to you. Can you see how bent up? Um, I can't get it in a good, it's not focusing very well. Can you focus over here? Well, I think you can kind of get the gist of it. So it is so bent up from when I, you know, squish the drills around. I, I, can't, I can't believe how badly I mangled that one. So I put a new tip on it and it works fabulous. Because so I save all my tips, um, you know, from the kits that come, you know, the, the little green boats. I save my tips. And I, I guess I need to change them out um, a little bit more often, huh? So that's kind of my funny story. Well, that's about all that I have for you guys today. Um, I know this was kind of a little boring whip and chat. Um, and But I did want to get you just kind of updated a little bit. 
Um, but just know I so appreciate each and every one of you. I just love it that you keep me company, not only when I'm doing the whip and chat here. You know, sometimes it feels like, yeah, I'm like talking to myself, but I'm really not. I'm talking to you guys. You're sitting across the table from me, doing your whip and chat, having your coffee, and, you know, we're just having a nice time. Um, so thanks for that. And thanks for the creators that have channels that keep me company as I watch them. Um, and just know I will get caught up. Um, I may not be able to comment on everyone, but I'll put my little flower and heart emojis so you know that I've been there. So that's about it. You guys take care. Um, happy diamond painting, happy crafting, whatever craft you're doing or coloring or cross stitch or um, paint by numbers. Um, enjoy it because it's so relaxing and it's so rewarding. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.